Hey guys, so um, on today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about breastfeeding. Um, so as I've mentioned before, I am breastfeeding our son and I did breastfeed our daughter. Um, and when she was born, I struggled a lot. I had a lot of pain, um, a lot of bleeding and cracking. It wasn't fun. Um, and I didn't produce enough milk for her in the beginning because I wasn't eating enough fats and I was eating a very high sugar diet um, so you know flash forward to when I had our son and I was eating a little better I wasn't eating the best still but I was eating more meat I had a little more milk and then when I completely cut the sugar out and just ate carnivore and I just ate meat and eggs and cheese and butter and had lots of healthy fats in my diet I was able to produce even more milk so now I can feed him for as long as he wants and he's getting as much milk as he needs um, and before I would have to stop and I would you know have to wait a while before I had more milk for him because it was just not I wasn't making enough um, but now I'm making so much that, <laughs> yeah, I'm having to change shirts sometimes. <laughs> if you're a breastfeeding mom, you'll understand that completely. So, <laughs> um, and it was also really nice when they were sick a few weeks ago that I was able to breastfeed both of them because breast milk is the best thing for them, especially when they're sick. Um, and I've heard people say not to not to breastfeed past one, or it's not necessary, or I disagree with all of that. Um, our daughter is three, and I've been breastfeeding her since she was born. Our son is one, and obviously I'm still breastfeeding him. Um, in some countries, they breastfeed until they're seven. I don't know if I'll go that far, but it's, it's just nice to know that my body makes the most nutrient-dense thing that they need. Um, and then they have meat, obviously, alongside with it. So, I feel like I'm doing what I need to do for them. And there's no point in arguing with people who disagree because there's, no, there's nothing harmful in breast milk. So, there's no reason that they don't need it. Um, and obviously, before formula was even made, breast milk was the only way that moms fed their children. And then, unfortunately, formula is basically just sugar powder with a little bit of milk in it. It's unfortunate that they made a supplement for people who can't breastfeed and made it so toxic to children. And there's nothing you can do about it because if you can't breastfeed or you adopt a child and you don't have breast milk there I mean there's nothing you can do about it you have to formula feed and they made it so toxic <laughs> there's a few organic brands on the market I don't know much about them because like I said I never had to use it so I, I don't know much about them um, but I know that there are a few organic brands on the market um, I also know that people will in a pandemic would buy up formula for themselves in case there's no food because they'd rather drink baby food than I don't know because they, they bought out all the formula and there was a shortage for some reason um, <laughs> don't understand that so I uh, I struggled with breastfeeding and so the few things that helped me was changing the way I ate to having more fats, more protein, less sugar. Completely cut out the sugar if you can. It's what I did and it's helped immensely. Um, on the days where I have a little cookie or have a little piece of bread or something, I could feel it in my body. I would just become extremely exhausted. My skin would start to like have a crawling sensation, like it would itch and it would just feel irritated um, my stomach would feel like it'd been punched repeatedly because of the inflammation in my stomach in my intestines 
and then I wouldn't have as much milk for my son. And so it was the slow progression of getting into carnivore in which my body has started to heal and I'm able to breastfeed more, I have more breast milk, and I feel so much better. And I know that he feels great because he has so much energy. <laughs> and so does our daughter. She is wide open. Um, and before, she would take like two naps a day. She would just be so exhausted just from being a kid. Um, and now she just... She has so much. She has so much energy. She's much happier. And then you can tell again on the days that she had. Because we're not as strict with them. Um, but we will be soon. Because it's it's come to our attention that when she has a little too much sugar. If she has more than, I don't know, even a small amount. she The next day, she is miserable. She's miserable. She has more tantrums. She's angrier. She's just upset by every little thing. Every little thing sets her off. Um, she's more sensitive to textures and sounds. And it's like the carbs are completely destroying her body. And it's overnight. Um, so, the, the plan is that beginning of January, the kids and I will be going more stricter. Me, way more stricter than them. Um, but we're going to go stricter and see if that helps my skin more see if that helps her mood changes and her attitude um and then our our son's just along for the ride because <laughs> well he's he's one so <laughs> um but he's doing great on this way of eating as well so i don't think he'll mind he loves he loves eating meat with us so <laughs> he loves hot dogs he loves beef he loves sausage so, um, a few tips that kind of helped me along the way and um, are still currently helping me, again, is changing the way I ate to eat more healthier fats, butter, beef, but I've cut out egg whites because I was having what I think is a reaction to the egg whites, so I'm still in the process of eliminating those to see if it, it does help or make a change. Um, and then, obviously, latching a whole bunch. Latch as much as you possibly can because the more you latch, the more your body's like, oh, okay, I need to make more milk. There's not enough, and it just keeps going. Um, that's all natural in your body. Um, try to get more sleep. I know that's extremely hard to say and do. I've been there. Uh, I'm still there. <laughs> so, try to get more sleep. Um, at night and um, get the rest that your body needs um, and it also helps you you know be more awake and more alert as a mom um, I know that before I know I was sleeping way too much before I started this way of eating I didn't have the energy I was exhausted and my body just was collapsing it was just an internal <laughs> An internal, I don't know, like drought of energy. Like I did not have what I needed to survive. I just didn't have it. My body was in pain. I, I just, I felt awful. I was exhausted and I was in pain and it was just awful. Started this way of eating and I feel so much better. I'm producing more milk. I got more energy. I'm... I'm, I feel better mentally than I did before. Um, before, when they say the baby blues and postpartum depression, it's a serious thing. Really serious thing. Um, and I, I think I was on the verge of it because it was just really hard. Um, I was really depressed all the time. I was really sad. I was just really like, I don't know, upset with the world in general. Um, very overstimulated by crying and loud noises if there was too much going on but now I can handle it better way better than I, than I did before it's not perfect I'm still working on myself to be better for my kids um, but it's it's a process and it's it's a step you know you gotta go one step two step one one foot at a time and this is 
one of the steps I took that put me way further ahead. Um, so, if you are a breastfeeding mom and you are struggling, I honestly 100% recommend changing the way you eat, change your diet. Um, cut out as much sugar as you can, but do it slowly. Don't do it all at once. Eat more butter and beef and eggs if you can handle them. And honestly, just change the way you think about what you've been told for so long. Oats do not help. All those lactation cookies and brownies and cupcakes and those do not help. They have so much sugar in them that it just gives you a sugar high and then a sugar crash. And it doesn't help your milk supply at all. Um, and then just keep latching. And like I said, try and get some rest because you desperately need it. As a mom of a newborn or a young child, you need you need to sleep. You just get as much rest as possible because, because you need it. Um, and if you are watching this and you know someone who is breastfeeding and struggling, share this with them and also offer to help every now and again because moms need it whether or not they ask for it. Um, they don't want to feel like they're in this alone because in their mind they are, even if they're surrounded by so many people who love them, in their mind they still feel alone. So, if you know someone who is a new mom, who is breastfeeding, who is struggling, just be there for them. Be there for their support, whether it's just hanging out with them, helping them do chores around the house, or offering to babysit for an hour while they take a nap. You know, just general small things. And it would it would really probably make their entire year. <laughs> so, um, I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys for coming by and watching. Uh, make sure you like and sub. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye guys. Also wanted to add in, we recently went to see Christmas lights. Um, so I'll add in two little clips of that. Our daughter absolutely loved them and was so intrigued by them. And so I love the videos I got of her. Um, so I'll add those in right now.